Alabama, the Montana-born Sugar Sean O'Malley. Back for more here tonight. This guy is still on the right side of 25, so very much a developing fighter, but hard not to like what we have seen thus far inside the octagon. Very good on the feet, understands distance very well, switches stances every step of the way. This is going to be a fighter to keep an eye on, I would think, going forward here at 135 pounds. This guy has excellent footwork. He's very difficult to catch and corner inside the octagon, and he's always in a position where he can strike and then get away from his opponent's counters. the notorious Conor McGregor, the champ champ, makes his return to the greatest proven ground in mixed martial arts. You know McGregor cares an awful lot about his MMA legacy, so you know this return to the UFC was an eventuality. Perhaps it took longer than many fans expected, but the present is Conor McGregor walking back to the octagon here tonight. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. tape for this heavyweight fight. McGregor is six years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment you all from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record on. Ten wins, no losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Sugar Sean O'Malley! And now, to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record on. 21 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland! I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go down right now. All right, the wait is over. We are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. All right, so the Sugar Show is back, live and in color. Sean O'Malley trying to keep the momentum going here tonight. He has been a very fast starter inside the octagon. Let's see if that trend continues as the challenges get stiffer here tonight. Oh, he just missed with that straight left hand, Joe. All right, so here we go with round one, and let's see how early he can find his range when it comes to the kicking game. We mentioned it on his walkout tonight. Massive power in those kicks. Let's see how he chooses to attack with it here. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. That one hurt. <laughs> Slips the punch. 
Misses a huge hook to the head. That lead left hand has been a weapon for him all night. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. Wow, what a kick. Checked effectively there by McGregor. Oh, he just misses with the right hook there, Joe. Those punches are very hard. Nice jab to the head there by McGregor. Oh, Malley gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Clean execution on that leg kick. Well, his opponent found an opening there to the body. Nice hook shot there, but as he leans forward in trying to get into his own striking range, he's gonna pay the price there to the body. Gotta be careful. You don't wanna eat too many of those power hooks downstairs. Oh, hook to the head by O'Malley. Oh! And he's looking for that left. The kick is there to the body. Oh, nice job with the leg kick, and he will continue to try to beat up that lead leg. He'll go outside, he'll go inside. Expect that to be a big part of his attack and strategy in this one. Good defense there. Oh, slips the punch there, Joe. Just over two minutes to go. He's just an outstanding leg kick. Wow! He's got him hurt here. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Almost hits him with that left hook. Nice leg kick there. Missed the mark. Minute and a half to go in our opening round. Oh, Malley gets caught by the inside leg kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh, Malley gets caught with that punch. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Back to the jab now. a minute now to go in the round. Back to the left hand now, but unable to connect, Joe. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Nice punch by Sean O'Malley. Well, he walked into his opponent's range there and ate that hook. He was unprotected, unguarded, and he's been susceptible to that hook in previous UFC fights. Got to figure out a way to move those feet and ultimately circle out and get that head off the center line. 20 seconds to go in round one. Oh, man, that cut is nasty. Missed that shot. Hook to the head there by Sean O'Malley. Oh, that's a good jab right there. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Round two is next. Stop! Well, he showed off his powerful striking there with a knockdown. Great round from McGregor. Yeah, that knockdown should have won him the round. It was a big moment in the fight. Let's take a look at it again here. Here's a different angle on it. And let's look at that again from another angle. Brittany Palmer in the building as usual. Here we go, second round, you ready? You ready? All right, round two. 
O'Malley gets hit by that leg kick. is blocked. Oh, big shot by Khan. O'Malley's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh! Kick to the face! He's got him hurt here. Oh! Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Punch is blocked. That one hurt. Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots. Big shot to the left. He's stunned. He's hurt. Oh, straight right. How about that shin? McGregor gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Well, he leaned right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something that Bear's watching here moving forward. I know he's confident in his chin, but he's a sitting duck there walking right into the pocket to absorb that hook. Effective punch there by McGregor. on three minutes to go. Just out of range with that right hook. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Went for the inside leg kick. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Blocks the shot. Oh, nice. Hand just missed. Oh! Under two minutes now to go. Oh, man! Oh, no. This could be it! Big right hand! Oh! Oh! Him in the face. oh, he's hurt! And with this particular striker, you are playing with poison if you don't get that guard up. You know these kicks are coming. You know they're coming in bunches. And that was a near-perfect land. Nailed the target. Full extension on the kick. And that's one of the better highlights we've seen here recently inside the octagon. Great angle here. Boom. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Masaki is going to stop for this contest at three minutes, 43 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout, the notorious Mario McGregor! Well,
Well, we're getting used to saying it. Conor McGregor, your winner yet again as he continues what has been one of the most remarkable legacies in UFC history. And when the lights are at their brightest, as they were here tonight, the notorious Conor McGregor seems to come through with one of his vintage performances. A huge win for Conor McGregor on the big stage here tonight.